first hero, um, and I have to say only hero, is, is my dad, definitely. For the simple reason, you know, he's always there for me. Took me everywhere as a kid, and, and my mum. You don't realise how much they, they do and sacrifice for you for your future and for your for your own good. And I've only you know, you realise that as you get older. So yeah, definitely my dad's my hero. I asked my mum actually, could I get a, a Barnsley shirt? It was bright green. Um, had the Admiral logo on it. It was obviously so baggy, so I could grow into it. But yeah, I remember that like vividly. It's like a not not silk, but like a soft touch, you know. Bright green Admiral Barnsley shirt as a, as a young kid. When I got dropped, actually, um, I, I was about from say 12 to. 12, 13 years old and I got told that I was going to be playing down for a few years because I was too small and my coach actually told me that session and, and I had to still train with, with my mates and all my teammates and I was so upset. People don't realise that the, you have those setbacks and, and how much it means to you, but um, definitely made me stronger. Came on against Reading for Barnsley and I just remember everything just being so fast and yeah, it was so strange because I, I had always visualised like what it'd be like to play for, for my club or you know, play a professional game and it, yeah, it was nothing, nothing really like that. You can't really recreate the crowd or um, the surroundings or how things are out on the pitch because you can train with them all you want but you, know, you can't recreate what it's like out on, in a competitive game. Something that I'll never, like is so vivid still now, which I'll never forget. On my full debut for, for Barnsley against Rochdale, ball went in so slow. I remember practicing the set pieces um, the day before and I had to spin round the back. The ball's come in and it's, yeah, I remember turning round, not even facing the ball and then catching it and headed it down into, into the ground and it's gone through the goalie's legs. Yeah, it just seemed to take ages and I didn't know how to celebrate. I knew my mum and everyone was in the crowd and she said she was crying. But I was just so happy, I just didn't know what to do. Oof, first day, nervous. Very nervous. I had a few friends from England, obviously Raheem, Delphi. Um, Hearty was there as well, which made it, he made it so much easier. It's a big period really, because you don't know where anything is, canteen or new people, what to do, what times to be where, and, and he coached me through and put his arm around me through all of that, which he does in every situation. <laughs> I've still got a note up from him in, in my locker actually when he left to go to um, Torino. I'll not read it out, it's got some naughty words, but yeah, he left that in, that still stayed in my locker and um, he just told me to be me and, and, and uh, not change who I am and keep working hard. Just remember enjoying it and how passionate he was and him trying to get his ideas across to us and even in the first session. I remember like uh, I turned I turned back towards my own goal and played like a bit of a disguised pass and we got out from it. I just remember the passion and uh, um, the excitement of when something came off, came across strongly to me and um, that was powerful. For the World Cup four years ago, I um, remember Roy ringing me up, I'd seen this number call come up on my phone and didn't know who it was. <laughs> remember, didn't know what to say, I said thank you probably a thousand times and hung up the phone and then yeah, burst into tears. I was so overwhelmed, I rang my mum, family, everyone and um, yeah, I was just so happy, great moment. <laughs>